here we go OM606 this is the turbo diesel it's a 99 Mercedes Benz and today we will be replacing the tensioner shock that shock makes a lot of noise somewhere here it's bad and uh, makes a lot of noise and the engine makes some kind of weird resonation so I will be replacing this thing today with the new part this is the new shock uh, this is how it came packed it's a German part made in Germany it's a Stabilus and I bought it from the peachparts.com which is the company which has that fantastic uh, Mercedes-Benz diesel forum so this top bolt which was right here the top one was the socket number 13 and the bottom one which is down there it looked like 10 but shockingly it's 11 I'm surprised because 11 you don't use much but it's definitely the wrench 11 it's this one so I was able to lose it and now let's hope there is enough space that we can drive that bolt out and we are able to lift the chock out and put a new one inside and just very easy and fast install so let's I will try to get let's see how far it can go if I can lift the shock so of course as usually it's something in the way the bolt itself will make it out however its washer its washer is hitting the pulley the belt pulley from the water pump so it there is a space for a bolt to go further and clear and make a space for the shock to being removed but that bolt has its own spacer and that cannot be moved because the thread so we have to start removing more stuff let's go so I did screw this bolt the lower one the 11 millimeter back uh, to make a space for the movement of tensioner and I will release this spring and see what's the movement and if there will be any way to get it out without removing the whole thing and taking it out so the next step I will remove this 13 millimeter and I will try to release the spring here and see uh, what's the movability of the tensioner assembly so this is the 13 one now to remove this bolt backwards I need to release the tension on the bolt uh, from the spring so I have to pull with something and the bolt goes nicely out and this is way to release the tension of the spring and I will see how can I move the tensioner the belt is still on so I have removed the spring from here this is the spring and the housing and also I removed just the belt of this pulley and now it gives me a movement the upper movement doesn't help to clear but I can move the tensioner assembly lower and now let's see if there is enough space to remove this bolt and ladies and gentlemen it's officially true as we expected you cannot remove the shock the bolt is backed out completely all the way and I cannot get it out so you're supposed to remove the tensioner as somebody said on the forum however I can feel the, the, yeah officially the designers of these things they just don't check what they are doing I can feel if that bolt was a millimeter or two millimeter shorter I could get it out I, if I put it sideways like this you can see it's a little bit sideways I, I almost can feel that it want to give up but it doesn't I'm lazy, I'm mechanic, I'm lazy, I will try. 
I will try if it doesn't go and look it does it does it pops out and with a little bit scratch here it pops out however I'm not satisfied with this and I will say this is failing the design it's ridiculous that bolt is just too long and you know what I will I will use the file and make it shorter that when I'm putting it back I don't scratch it so let's take it somehow out if it's possible or leave it there and file it a little bit and mm, that the installation is correct okay so I will push that bolt I cannot take it out right it's stuck there but I will push it in this position I will now get a file make it a little bit shorter because it was really just one millimeter or so and that will give me chance to install the new shock the new one without any scratching now basically that's it the installation will be reversing what we did but you have to do one more important thing before you install the shocks or entire tensioner assemblies you have to initiate the, the work of the shock and what do you do you basically grab it both sides and you just work it you work the shock in and you work it out all the way and I believe they call it like initiation you do it very slow it, it will give you big resistance but you do it very slow even if it will not you do it very slow and you move it like two or three times and that's the the moment when the shock it's ready to be installed and it will work properly in the future okay so I hope this helps you somehow when you will have the same problem the, the rattle in the engine from that noisy thing the old one as you can see this is the top this separated you don't see it in the picture but it's freely moving the, the rubber separated actually on both sides it's completely loose and that's the rattle it keeps moving up and down the new shock these parts are fixed it's not rotating spinning or moving it ho all holds together so that that's the reason why it's making the noise the shock itself the it's very difficult to move the, so the, the shock works it's just these bushings which are worn and they make that noise unacceptable noise it's really horrible actually okay thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos have a nice day aloha uh, I'm still here uh, this is the new part and what's really important is to recheck the routing of the belt because we took it took it off it's really important before you will go and start the vehicle make absolutely sure that it's sitting perfectly everywhere really really important and let's go in here I, I want to also share with you if it helped so it was really really noisy this engine and let's see uh, what will be the difference let's start it up so we can share the end result together oh. all about the delicious God, this is fantastic. It's absolutely quiet. The loudest sound I hear is the injection pump, actually. Oh, this is fantastic. This is huge difference. It was definitely worth $30 for the part and some working time. Excellent. Have a nice day, guys. Aloha.